Yo! What's going on, guys? CJ here. Super excited, super happy. Kevin Shattenkirk is finally a member of the New York Rangers after being rumored to come to the Rangers for like three years now. The son of a bitch finally made his way here on a four year contract, paying him $6.65 million per year. Ladies and gentlemen, he took a big discount at both term and money to come here. Chaboy is excited. No. Let's talk. Let's just talk. Right? I'm using Cat Friendly and HockeyDatabase.com. First and foremost, last season, Kevin Chattagirk had 13 goals, as well as 43 assists. What does that equal? 56 points. Chattagirk had 56 points in 80 games last year. Most impressive, if you ask me. The year prior to that, the year prior to that, he had uh, 44 points in 72 games on a eh, decent Blues team. And the year before that, he had 44 points in 56 games. 45 and 81 the year before that. 23 and 48 the year before that. 43 and 81 the year before that. 17 and 26 the year before that. Oh, wait, no. He had, no, he had 43. He had 43 points his rookie season. Kid's a beast. A freaking beast. All right? Now, I fully expect 70 to 112 points next year uh, in the realm of that. Uh, if he doesn't score any, any, more than a, uh, any less than 100 points, I think it's a failure because he's better than McDavid. He's better than Crawford. Um, guys, listen, if you take in the series right now, relax. Um, <clears throat> no, I love Kevin Chad. I've been following Shattenkirk ever since, uh, ever, shit, ever since he got drafted. I was following him when he was in uh, Boston University. Uh, freaking great at BU. I just 14, 14th overall in 07, right? 07? Yes, that's 07 here. 07. Great guy. Great guy. Great acquisition for the Rangers. And yeah, that is that is statistically speaking. But now, we got a team to talk about here. First of all, if McDonough and Shattenkirk are not paired and given the pairing name of Captain Kirk, then I refuse to root for the Rangers. I fully expect Captain Kirk to be the Rangers' first pair. If not, I'd be pissed. But the beauty of the situation is you can split them up because you got, you do like McDonough, Shattenkirk, Shea, Smith, and then Holden and D'Angelo. Stoll isn't playing. We don't talk about Stoll. Um, it, it's beastly. We're not going to talk about Andre Pavlich. He's a backup goalie. Is what it is. Sucks the past few years, but you never know. Benoit Allaire has turned an undrafted goalie at the age of 26, Cam Talbot, and made him an NHL starter in Edmonton, so. Yeah. The Rangers right now are sitting with 8.35 million in cap space. Uh, assuming Kevin Klein retires, which he keeps saying he's going to do, but never does, the Rangers would be at like 11.25, which is enough for a fourth line, a second line center, re-signs the and re sign Jesper Foss. I do believe the Rangers are going to trade Nick Holden. There's no way they're going to find a suitor for Mark Stoll. It's just near damn impossible at this point. I don't see anybody that's going to want that God forsaken stole contract. Meanwhile, if the Rangers would have traded him instead of signing him, we could have had Taylor Hall on this team as well. But what the fuck, right? Hindsight is always twenty twenty. Looking back, it's still a bit fuzzy. Um, yeah, the Rangers defense this year is insane. First of all, in the NHL alone, we got D'Angelo, Shea, Holden, Smith, McDonough, Stoll, Shattenkirk. That's your seven in the NHL right now. And you still have Barry Glazov, Pionk, fucking uh, freaking uh, Day. Pedri, or Pedri, Gilmore, and Graves, and Camper. So you, you have NHL-ready def defensemen all over the map. So it's very, very exciting to be a Ranger fan right now. Uh, I do believe uh, that the Rangers will maybe dangle one of some of those defensemen. Uh, say Gilmore, maybe Pedri, although I doubt it. Maybe Graves, perhaps Camper, and they'll try to... Bring in a fourth or second line center, maybe entice a team with picks. Uh, I do not believe the Rangers are going to offer sheet anybody, especially Leon Dreisaitl. I don't see it. I don't see them offer sheeting Granlund. I don't see them, see them offer sheeting anybody. It's not worth it. Uh, not only does offer sheeting never happen, because it hasn't happened in a very long time in terms of a player accepting and a team actually getting the player, but it's just like... You you one if you offer sheet another team you you look like a dick. It's just like one of those things in the NHL. Just don't don't be an asshole that offer sheets because uh, I think one of the GMs this year said I think it was Eisman that said like you offer sheet one of my guys I'm gonna offer sheet one of your guys for the next ten years. So honestly it's just not even worth it. Just no. I, uh, GM JG 
<clears throat> claims he's working hard in the market right now trying to find a center or two. Uh, I don't know what he plans on giving up. Honestly, I, I, I still think Patty Marlowe would be a good signing for a center. And then in terms of a fourth-line center, shit. I don't know. Would love to get rid of that stall contract, though. Let me, let me take a look at something. Let me see. I, like, if you could do, like, stall for Dustin Brown, why the hell not, right? But if Dustin Brown has longer term, I don't want that. Uh, Dustin Brown. Yeah, no. One, two. Yeah, stall has four years left. Brown has five years left. So never mind to that. However, I would most certainly trade Mark Stahl, retain his salary to 4.875, and get Marion Gabrick back. Because I think that would just be badass. I'd bring back Gabby. And that way the Rangers have a win. Because right now the Rangers got... Uh, if I'm, Let me just forecast some lines. Let's just, let's just say they have Kreider, Zibanejad, and uh, Buknevich. There's, your, there's three. Then you have fucking Hayes, Miller, Nash. Then you got Kreider, Grabner, VC, and Foss. We have ten forwards. Grabner, you can put on the fourth line, so I'm not even thinking about that right now. You have one room for you have room for one fourth liner center, and room for another center, which I feel like, ugh, God, I don't know. It's a rough spot they're in. I don't know. I really don't know. Ooh. Although I would, I would trade Mark Stahl, retain salary to where he's on equal salary as Marion Gabrick and acquire Marion Gabrick. The speed, the shot, it just everything works out. He's what the Rangers could use. Probably more effective than Mark Stahl to an extent. He had twenty one points. He had twenty one points this year. Twenty two last year. He has twenty four goals in one hundred and ten games the past two years. Yeah, he sucks. But he's like on the Kings' fourth line. Mind you. Hmm. Alright, who knows? Maybe, uh... Well, I wonder if it makes sense for the Kings. I'm actually, now that I brought that up, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious. They only have five defensemen. Yeah, because I'm not even counting that Folin might make the NHL this year. Hmm. I mean, shit, you know. I guess it makes sense for both teams. Yeah, give it a shot, Rangers. At me when you do it, too. Bring back Gabrick. Don't give me Dustin Brown. Yeah, so that would be kind of cool. That way you can just fuck around with Gabrick. Get him back in the lineup. Get him doing some things. All right. Yeah, the, Rain it, the Rangers are not done making moves yet. There's just no way. It wouldn't make sense if they didn't. Like, you can't have... You don't acquire Anthony D'Angelo to make him your seventh defenseman. It just doesn't work like that. I'm really curious as to what's going to happen now. Something else has got to give. I just wonder what. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Very interesting. You know what? Let's let's start this in the uh, in the comments down below. Let me know who you guys think the Rangers should add as both their uh, fourth line center or second line center, and what should they do about their seven defensemen? Which defenseman should go? You know who should they move? Is the the better question? Who should the Rangers move on defense? Personally, I think um, what makes the most sense would be to move. Uh, Nick Holden because there's just no way um, that you're going to trade Mark Stahl. It, it just it doesn't work like that. Um, one second. Uh, I'll type this in. Look up some stats. Uh, yeah, I mean, I... It's worth a shot. Why not? Why the hell not? You, give in the comments down below. I want you guys to... I want you guys to chime in on this because I really uh I can only say so much, you know? I I can't I can't like uh break any more down than I have. So start that up in the comments. Let me know second and fourth line centers who you'd like to see. 
uh, if you're going to talk a trade, like uh, bringing in a player for as you know, uh, the trade, comment what you would send to acquire that player. So you kind of back up what you're saying a little bit. Man, the Rangers missed out a lot of players in free agency. Like Scott Hartnell, one year, one mil. Why the hell not? I would love. I would love that. Man, there. <sighs> A lot of, excuse me, a lot of really good signings today. Kunitz, one year, two mil. Like, it's freaking awesome. Oh, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. Great contract all around. I would have even, like, say, I would have taken Sam Gagne. You could, uh, Patrick Sharp, one year, 800 fucking thousand is his cap hit. Boy, I wish the Rangers could have signed Boyle, but I don't think he wanted to be here. I don't think Benino wanted to be here. Uh, let's see who else was he, who they could have signed. Uh, maybe uh, not Hansel. Ew. Um, Camilleri. Cam- Camilleri. One year, one million. What? What are we? What are we doing? What's going on there, guys? Hard. One year, one mil. Un- un- freaking real. That's just unreal, man. That would have been the guy to get. Nate Thompson? No, I don't like Nate Thompson. Nick Cousins, perhaps. But I'm pretty sure he was RFA. Radim Verbata? No. Dominic Moore would have been awesome to bring back. Ugh. Anyways, you guys comment down below. You let me know what you think. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching the video. I hope you're watching because you're enjoying making it. And if anything I ever just said, you do not need hearing aids. I will see all of you in the next one. Make sure to comment down below. Let's talk Rangers, people. The summer has only just begun. Peace!